Hey everyone, it's Kim McIntosh with Homeland of Kentucky Real Estate Professionals and um, this week I am doing my Kim Coffee and Real Estate show, episode, whatever you want to call it, from my office. So um, I am having some nice homebrewed coffee and today I want to talk about the real estate market. Um, this month I have picked Shelbyville to to go over the numbers from so um, as I've said before we have low inventory like it is seriously a seller's market so just to give you guys kind of an idea of what the market is like we have an absorption rate right now in Shelbyville of about two months worth of inventory so what that means for you guys is if we had no more houses coming on the market and we kept the same pace of number of houses being sold, all of the houses in Shelbyville would be sold in two months. So, um, a good, so what that means is we are definitely in a seller's market. A good average is about six months worth of inventory. That would keep it so it's not really a seller's market or a buyer's market. It is just an average, good old, run-of-the-mill, everybody's going to win market. Um, so, what we are seeing is low inventory. Now, hopefully, we have some, um, some increased inventory because it's starting to get nicer. People are going to be on spring break over the next couple weeks and... Yeah, when we see people start to, to get their homes ready, um, we know that people are going to start thinking about selling. And it's a good time if you're wanting to be into a new school district or be into a new area before the kids or anybody starts school. So, um, we are at about two months absorption rate here in Shelbyville. And the average days on market. So, it's a little skewed. Just because you know, you've got some foreclosures, some um, distressed properties that take a little longer. But for the most part, the average days on market is 20 days. That means that people are buying houses really quick. So um, even with the, the kind of skewed uh, days on market. Um, now I've recently closed a couple homes that we had on the market and under contract in less than 24 hours. I had showing scheduled before I even had it on the MLS, just from the sign being in the yard. Um, this is not uncommon. We have a lot of buyers who are putting in offers and they're not getting accepted because we have multiple offers on, on the house. So, if you're thinking about buying, don't get discouraged. Just know that you may have to put offers in on a couple different houses before yours is accepted. And unfortunately, right now, there are no great deals out there. Um, as long as it's priced right and shows well, they're going to sell fast. So, uh, if you're a seller, what that means is that you're going to... you could possibly get a little more for your house than you would have in the past. So, um, 2017, all of Kentucky saw an increase of just a little over 7% in home values. Um, that means that you're going to walk away with clo from closing with a little more cash in your pocket, uh, which means a bigger down payment for your next home. So, if you would like more information on market values in your area, or if you uh, want to know what your home is worth, feel free to comment below or send me a private message and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I hope you guys have a great Easter weekend. And if there's anything that I can do for you, you guys please let me know. Thanks and have a great day.